He was given some freedom, as was the entire Ents management, a part of this, juggling nades across. So the B site will have an extra HE for Spinks to throw on out. And let's get into this wall, because we have got a 4-1 split of their resources. Nico does have a smoke here oh, as well, right? Oh, and the are out. Rare to see the, uh, the glass cannon jewelies. Yeah, someone should have dropped in those. But I, I want to point out Nico's smoke here because he's looking for info and he's going to drop this out, which is going to draw at least three of their attention towards the ramp. It's more of a lurk smoke. Oh, what a counter flash, yeah. Gobbles that one up and now the nade could be brilliant. Good chip damage. They will need some bodies though and Snappy does nothing with the jewelies and down goes Spinks. Oh, big tap. Hades tested multiple players. He does take two for the... Trouble. Would love that. Could have cost him his life. Does it overextend? Does opt for the reload. Tucked back into sight. Nexa and oh. tags. Hands out. Haircuts. Dia trimmed. Now Dodo. The impactful Finn. Good in the clutches. Presenting Finland and Dents. And Nexa is the one to convert. And all that is at stake. So we'll just focus on what's in front of us. Double scouts here. Snappy into one and Hades the other. Makes sense for Hades. Snappy. Gonna be a bit more mobile with this, able to fill the gaps. He's paired up with Spinks over towards B right now. Diha, Dodo, and Hades today, yes? Jack's just getting three straight out of the gate as well. That piss is a very good sign for G2, because yeah. I will highlight that he has been a third component of their superstar duo with Hunter and Nico. Even next are getting two. Remember that 1v3 clutch he won just the other day yes. that we had? Uh, Against Maus. Yeah, and we also saw uh, Jax with that massive deagle round as well. Uh, everybody had pop-off moments for G2 the other day, but one of the out uh, things that the desk did outline here is to continue to see good form for G2. And Counter-Strike, I don't know if it's talked about enough, but I think timing your peaks is important here with the Major being the most important tournament. Getting that Legend status is key. And then if they can shrug off EPO and Blast in recent times and have a good Major, then we'll forget about the bad performances. Yeah. Spoke to Olaf and Dupree about that when talking about the Major and them. Both key takeaway was that you have to be hitting your peak at the right time. And for G2, you know, uh, Parla was talking to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it may, may be less of a something to aim for as a, or something they've observed. Sure. Oh, 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 caught out. Nico, long range body shots whittle away at Diha, leaving Dodo with a dig and a dream. Great shot into the head of Nexa. He is going to surely be wall banged down. Hunter to finish the job with the HE. And that second scout from Snappy is ready to be deployed as the smoke does fade. Now, it's not going to be a triple plant. He won't be able to deny, but he might be able to post a headshot. And Jack's down and out. Uh, I think this is the triple S here for Snappy. Snappy scout, I'll let you guess the third. Save. I thought you were being mean. No. <laughs> no, I know. Never. I know. I'm only mean in private. It's a private thing. Yeah. Well, there's a Mac 10. He's just had a look at it. He's gone, do I want that? I mean, after hitting that headshot on Jax, he's like, nah, 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 nah. Okay. Far too good with this gun. It is good to see Snappy having a good performance here. We heard from him the other day saying he doesn't like Miragi. They just consistently have good performances on it. Yeah, man after my own heart uh, in terms of not enjoying the map, but... And it will just be one HE, two Deagles, a Scout and two USP. So it doesn't sound like the start of a good joke. But you've seen G2 lose to crazier circumstances before. They've lost to no players before. They've done some wonderful things before, G2. The walking meme. <laughs> yeah, the tier one team. Wow, we could start a new CS poem. Oof. Yeah, they, they, they have got... Um, They've been through some stuff. Some history. But, you know, we were talking about the fact that Ents went international so successfully. What a better example of a team that's done that prior than G2. Sure, sure. Yeah, formerly the French. Yeah, it's been a slow process, hasn't it? They've kind of uh, changed out a couple of members at a time here to get to this point. Probably an under-discussed or appreciated roster move as well for the ages is going to be Nexa and Hunter. You know, sure. sniping them just as they were starting to gain international notoriety. Yeah, it'd been that crazy project, right? We haven't Completely. seen a lot since. Yeah, like that was like, like Valiant. Like Esperanto and, yeah, and stuff exactly. still, uh, since. Uh, well, let's see. Snappy, down to 40, and that's a oh, perfect strike into Nico's dome. Repositioning, the mobility of the scout profiting. But Jax is here to clean up and they're surely going to check Doto's position. He does have the, the chance to be disruptive. You can even spam him, but they've overlooked him here. Yeah. Jax and Jax might go down, you know. I wonder if he'll be overlooked for the entirety of this because it could lead to a little bit of a big one. Time is a big issue. The bomb is still in T spawn. If he just denies the plan and the bomb's going down with five seconds, oh. they're going to lose the round. Oh my god. He just has to wait and deny the plant. The bomb's coming in now. Okay. 
Seen him up. Ten seconds. There's nothing they can do to voice concerns. That's really fortunate. That just was after we talked seconds. about it. Just after we talked about it, Chad, I thought it was about to happen. I didn't think that was real. Imagine if it was five seconds later. Yeah. If it was five seconds later on that. We'll stop them from being fakie boys as often or as easy. Careful, D, huh? He chips away at Jax. Gives him a wound to operate with, an aggressive orping to get that info early. And, well, Hunter and Jax partner up to take that space. So this could end with an early first blood if they're not diligent with their util. Sometimes you see a bit of a flash into the apartments before you cross. Oh, he hasn't seen anything just yet. How long is going to stick around? Something spotted now, and the orb's even been noted. So the warning shot gives a lot of information over to Nexa to operate with now. But we know that G2 like to poke and prod all across the map when they have the Miragi in play. And well, the bomb being left up towards the TV room of the B apartments could be telling of the finish here. They've still got a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes, HEs to, uh, sorry, Molotovs to work with as well. Hades up close and personal towards a ramp. If it is a B hit, that rotation is going to take some time. Coming in. Reaction is just in time, at least the incendiary extinguished and hunted. I think he's been spotted out, but that snappy striking for one ahead of the util. Oh, didn't pull the trigger in time. Spinks with a lovely lineup. And so suddenly Hunter's only got himself to count upon. Bomb will be scooped up. He can use that smoke before it fades to get that bomb down uncontested. The rotate is on its way. Hunter. He's pulled off some miraculous things for his squad before and slinking straight towards it. The whole squad is here. And already the first head found. Whoa. Hades holds his nerve and his line. And it will counter strike to watch here. And that's even without talking about the delays. Yeah, disruptive. Molly pays off. Hades will have a gap to operate with. Oh, in the blind spot. Hunter taking liberties. Taking liberties. Spotted. And Diha dunks. That's what you wanted. An early first blood drawn for Reds. Again. This will break G2 if they can't find the fourth now. Coming in hot. Coming. Yeah, a missed shot from Spinks. That could get sketchy, but still, Amanek unable to piece it together. And look at him lining them up. The AWP again, an issue for G2's B play. He'll play another smoke to play around, and so he's still going to be a stubborn presence. There's two AWP spotted. Hades has now been caught. Nico whipping that one out and effective with it. This could spiral out of control. You've got to be careful. Nexus Hold on pushing. to this advantage. Nexa clearing the kitchen. Gets himself the double. Now then, there's still a lot of time to play with. And Spinks last seen short. Oh, and that's info. A lot of info. Nico rocking the AWP. Oh, the slight gap, and they've actually partnered up. He won't expect Both to. Yeah. Left. yeah, and Spinks finishes what he started. That's a lot from the Israeli. We wanted to see that early. And you can see the ramifications. There it is. Bam. And let's see if they can hit some bangers. We're looking for the one digs, the juicy, juicy one digs. Ooh, I thought he got that. That's Deha that's cleaning up. Oh, triple out of him. $900 injected into his bank account. Well, Hunter's doing what Hunter does and comes through the underpass, but that is Deha's fourth. So now just one more for the Polish man. Or, or the pole. <laughs> well, he's in pole position uh, at the moment. For the fifth frag. It's crazy, right? Because remember uh, Snatchy as well? Yeah, Snatchy. Kind of fast track ticket. Two tier one. D has talents. We saw him really cut his teeth. Oh. And Hades, speaker of his name, he arrives in the feed. Nexa just caught sleeping. Wanted to throw out some util, was not anticipating an aggressive maneuver, and it's led to an early advantage that Ents can surely build upon. You can see they're actively contesting for ramp info. This is such a good map pool for Ents, it feels like, right? Getting the fact that we do like watching them on Mirage when we get over to Nuke as the next map. One of the things that we talk about with Ents is just how fast they can be on those top hits and how overwhelming they can be. So I'd be curious to see if that continues to be part of the game plan. I've been really enjoying watching Ents. Every Ents game we've casted, like, uh, I, you know, I think it took me maybe two before I stopped treating them as underdogs. Sure. They've just very quickly risen in my own uh, personal expectations. And I'm sure the community probably echo a similar sentiment because they are good and these individuals shining bright up against the best an early pick from hades and now again they really are stubborn about this b site sphinx managing his angles well eliminates another it's up to the kovach cousins jacks in tow provides a headshot util super light so now or never 
Rotates on its way. Doto once again going to be arriving up short for this two-man short defense that seems to be working. Wonders. Sphinx's time found. Nico anticipating another. He's right to do so. Decision making. He does evade. Nice movement to confirm. There was no info there. And he's got himself into the oh, site. Oh, that was the kill. That was the kill. 10 HP left on Hades. So Nico would have to find that. Hard clear on Dota. He's not going to do it. Has no idea. Up. No idea. Dota he goes down there. Jax has done what should have been enough. Not only he opens it, he gets the determining kill. Big round from Hades. Armor. Some Tech Nines for good measure. A Deagle in play on Jax and Nico. Both of them have had very historical Counter Strike moments with that $700 pistol. And it does look like Nico's already knocked the head off on A. Well, that underpass push becomes a lot more threatening now. Sphinx has been able to dissuade that, but there's still pressure coming. Molly back, Deha standing tall, 10 kills for him now, and Amonek's been able to weasel his way into the window. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's considered right now, but Deha is going to pivot back, I'm sure. Hello! Oh, Amonek couldn't quite catch him, that... Side of the head, back movement can get difficult. Very dicey for him. An advantage now, just petering out into nothingness. Well, Nico was the one that made this interesting. Yeah. Now he's the only one left. That was a bit like a drop pie from uh, Amanek there. Not nice to look at. You'd kind of just end up ripping out a new page of the strap book. I think you want to look for something a little bit different now because it's been multiple occasions where they've rotated quite quickly and had extra men. You might want to look for an opening pick somewhere, and then you could pivot back towards B. But make sure you have that number advantage before you try to punish that side of the map. Which, to be fair, we haven't seen them get too much of Jax. It looks like he's destined to catch a bullet here. It's a very tight line, though, so it's up to Hades and his reaction speed, as well as Jax and the strafe he opts for. We've got four present in mid for G2, and that Sphinx is a responsibility as it currently stands. They're reading this well, and they have two players ready to deal with B just in case, and they're also locking down middle here. So they're in good positions to contest with this. And not again. The bomb on Nexus back. They head back over towards B while Hades creeps on forward, and he even has an escort. This is going to be tough to break. Snappy down. Will they expect Hades up close aggressive? Do you get that confident without an AWP overseeing your exit? Jax tagged. Hades does not find any lethality. So now they've got themselves that man advantage. They have to build upon it. Hunter's going to be locking down the rotation here from Connector. And oh, caught out. Jump to evade. Sphinx will punish. Suddenly a 4v4 and they are coming B. That was enough. Hunter just showing his face on Connector has forced Hades into a unfavorable defense at the site, but Sphinx is kicking three on three, and up a low. fuss. Will Ents successfully defend this B-site again? It's time to find out. Hey, it's not bad either. Not at all. Limited health now on G2. Jack's going to have to do more. He's already done so much heavy lifting to put them into a bomb plant scenario. Tag. No frag. Deher kept on notice. Sphinx is crawling from short during all of this. And... Question of time. Jack's down, getting scary. Nexa claws it back, and Amanek holds the line, a one on one. No time for this. Dota won the retreat. It does look like G2. Persistent in pursuit of glory on B. Will take some damage, will go down Both with the them. bomb. And zero players left standing at the end of that one. Round nine concludes. G2, this time successful on B. Okay, well, that's something, right? And they were lucky that Snappy went looking there for the kill. This is Jax just standing and waiting, and in about a minute there, he was given that kill. This got awkward. This is where things started to fall apart because Sphinx actually gets another frag right here as Cat is being taken as well. So that was the set. He may not be able to be threatening, or as threatening, with his MAC-10, but with it's his three -lane. presence alone, he might be able to draw some crosshairs away. They boost him up, and Hades goes looking. I think he suspects one coming in thick and fast. Jax is lucky to be alive, and here comes Amanek's pace. He's ahead of the Molly. Down and out. Sphinx again delivers. Jesus can't go into this. Like, they used all their nades as well. You keep heading into the B site, but every time Sphinx is just laughing at you. Yeah, uh, and Hunter here, oops, nothing he can do. They know exactly his lurky Brilliant. boy plays. They pushed out both at the same time. Ents are playing this very, very well here. This is great. Counter strike and has just looked away. That's unfortunate. Nico 
has really had a return to his form, fighting fit for the major. And now a question of legend, legend status. Will he come in, skip that scary Swiss stage? And standing between him and that. And lovely passive hold here from Ents. When you've got such an advantage, just don't want to step a foot out of line. And the timing, just as Nico started his project tour short. And next has not got anything done. E and here we go. There have been a few more lighter investments here. Nico to scout Tom Mid. Oh, he's going to get a scope v scope fight, and oh. that is brilliant stuff. Have to Patience, be steady to bruh. hit that one. Yeah, just the sheer restraint. Doesn't rush it, doesn't just opt for the tag, and Nico's happening again. Dota oh. and Diha, the double Ds immediately level things out. Six headshots. Yeah, just like that. A superb flurry of frags, a chunk taken out of Diha. Dota does not surrender, does not quit. Plant's not bad here, and it gives Nexa a chance in this. It is the Deagle, and he has a smoke as well, so he can pick a choke point, smoke it off, maybe even play behind it. Diha being low, just one bullet, he's dead, and then the battle with Dota is possible. Both of them rotating right now through jungle. And about it. yeah, both going to come through market. Trade off each other. That's the conversation being had, and Nexa's opted for the apartments. Now... I suspect. He didn't plan for short, though, so I think they're just going to assume it's there once they clear it all out, Alex. Yeah, it's likely they'll have their full HP player start to activate. Diha going to be the canary in the coal mine looking to defuse. Fakes it out. It's a safe defuse. It shouldn't be able to get too much done with this. And Dota already knows what's up. Trying to hit the shot. Oh, not far off. And they do line up. But the perhaps he's, you know, he's got underpass. He's got yeah. apps in his mind. I'm not sure yet. Twelfth round of play. Early smokes exchanged. Nico came a knock into that ramp, thinking better of it. Starting to get worried for G2 now, because it looks again like they want to go back towards B. I know it's still very early in the round, only 20 seconds have passed here, but when you're having three players coming through in the underpass now, and well, two of them selling what is a little bit of a fake on A, you got two options. You're either going to go back towards B after mid presence, or you're going to continue this march up through the underpass with Jack's entry fragging. You're going to have a fight in connector against multiple players, Diha and Doto both here, and Sphinx even peering off a catwalk. Perfectly timed, and they stand to take the fight. Jax delivers something, though. Diha caught just as before he fell. The spread confirming more presence, and Sphinx strikes. May not expect another. Concerned about A, and understandably so. Next are on to Doto. And oh my god, Snappy! You can't be going for aggressive moves like that. He's got the bomb now, and G2 needs something. Hades needs to survive 10 HP. Relentless spray. It's up to Nico. He's got to make some moves. Where the bomb is, mate? You got to get that first, and they have to get past orbs. Not going to happen, dude. These double orbs, they whipped them out on, like, the first gun round, and it's been an integral component of the boys from Ents posting a very big CT haul here on first map of this series. Amanek saving this, isn't he? Oh, I can't believe Snappy's move, right? He takes so much damage in that Molotov, but it's round winning. Yeah, Amanek can't win this. Yeah, I mean, you said the bomb was spotted, right? So I guess that's just Snappy knowing he's got a round winning maneuver in him. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, well, this one here starting to run away from the boys from G2. Eight for Ents, and they're going to be more than happy with how this one's trending. Take a look at the loss. AM.GG slash fancam if you're watching at home and you want to join the party. Don't be shy. Run boost, reaction speed test for Hades, and <laughs> over to you, Chan. Um, so if you've ever been to Cirque du Soleil, you'll know when they're trying those type of maneuvers, they have a safety net. They have a big old net below them right there, just in case they don't stick the landing. Nexa doesn't have a safety net. He's got nothing at all. He's dead. And right now, it's back towards the B bomb site. Now, we know that there's two. In all Counter-Strike maps, we have two. But no one's told G2, who you'd think with the number two in the name, they'd be aware of the multiple options. But here we go again. And this time, it is Hades with the AWP in the market position and Snappy tucked on in with the Silence Den 4. Yeah, these pro players, it may be their job, but they are gamers too. Snappy already deals with the third. Oh, careful now. They know he's low on the site. Oh, nearly a collateral. Wasn't the kill they wanted, yeah, though. They found him, and now an advantage for G2. How long will this last? The bomb 
should go down uncontested. They've broken in. Fragile economy for Ents here. Look at the money that's left over. Oh, yeah. A goose egg for Dota. He hasn't got a penny to his name. Oh, that was on him in my book. Nico, just shy. And that should be enough of a deterrent. G2 breaking into the B site and, and just at least proving to themselves that it can be successful. Yeah, if that works, why not? I guess they've just answered my critique right here. So good stuff for them on those trades. But I really think that has to be on Amanek, right? That shot on through the smoke. They still knew that Snappy was hanging around. Able to deal with him as well. And he's even looking for the hunt right now. Only six kills, but that's what impact looks like from Amanek. Oh, oh, that's huge. That is huge. He's almost going to get them all. Oof. So Sphinx has saved AK and invested M4. Uh, he may as well here, because if they lose this, then they were going to be staring down there. What was likely an 8-7-1 anyway. The buy wouldn't have been great, considering it was minned on out as opposed to maxed on out. <laughs> so this is the most potent it will be for Ents in the, this round and what, the next. What, would, what more could you ask from your squad when you are on a sketchy buy is to take some liberties and to take some aggressive maneuvers. Doto already has full info ramp and you'll likely be able to take some space on towards T-Spawn when contacts found elsewhere. I wonder if teams leave that vent unbroken against uh, G2 more than others. But they're looking like they want to snap down on a B split here and the tag not hitting. Snappy's under pressure. They are coming, but there's a stack what? on the site. Where did their health just go? Diha did some damage. Sphinx has finished some of the job. Uh, this is slowing down towards the B site here. The bomb marooned over towards Vent Room and that push from oh, Dodo. Oh, baiting in Hades spawn. as well. It's all ratty. Dodo's already coming in behind them. This is something. They might need to pivot now and actually head back. If they get this kill, they very well might, and they Whoa. should. This should be the pull the plug. Get on out of there. Head towards A. <laughs> Will they check Hades? Oh, Jax, that's the flight path. Up on the barrel, confirms and clears the bench properly. And there's a sixth. The full investment of Ents has landed just short of the mark. Yeah, this is uh, now having to be the save again for Diha here. So the bomb going down soon. And what was looking like G2 were going to be stuck on maybe four or five rounds is now looking likely to be seven here. So great turnaround. And that's Counter-Strike. Anything can happen. Want to uh, point out Nexa with 10 kills, Jax with 10. You've got nine for Amanek and eight apiece for Hunter and Nico. So uh, relatively quiet in terms of, you know, a superstar stepping up just now for G2, but I'm sure we'll see more of that with the multi-frag madness on the CT side. But they're hunting and they want this scalp. Diha, how long can you keep yourself above water here? The bomb over halfway ticked. Your position more than noted. They're coming in from three different angles of assault. He really is doomed. Amanek confirmed. What was looking great for Ents is no longer. International body language for that could have gone better. Hands on the head. That's a lot of nades mid. That can all be calmed on out. Are G2 going to use the space from hearing those nades? It looks like they want to stick to the game plan, which is actually pretty risky against pistols. Out Palace with the waterfall. Just takes a spicy headshot or two for things to spiral. Well, Doto has been overwhelmed. Nico not letting it go. It's snappy that contributes. And yeah, should have the site now. CT's the next port of call, and Jax is already there to receive them. So good. Fine. Can't manage the spray. 5-7. Found. Need this from Nexa, and now all on to Hay. On down. Let's see. Can G2 pick up where they left off? It was three out the door into that break. Remember last time we casted Nico on Mirage on the CT side? He hit four absolute bangers. Oh, that was a clean pistol. Like squeaky clean. Mr. Clean. I don't know if you got Rops in connected there. That was the one to kick things off. But noisy through mid and straight towards A. Amanek challenged and they've got jungle control. We know how difficult this can get. <laughs> Baiting in Nico. Nexo giving everything she's got. Safe from the flash, but bomb down. So retake set up. Got smoke on Nico. Oh, no. Is that my cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My eyes aren't deceiving me. Boost box. Threatening. Biding their time, looking to strike as a unit. Amanek, the spearhead of this four-man assault. Are you ready for this to go from 10 players to two? It's a biff, it's a brawl. And everything going ends his way. There's only a single frag to celebrate for G2. Jax will change things briefly, but time too far gone. And it looks really simple when it plays out like that. Ends were hoping for the... A tight round if you G2. You can see this one, you're going to be looking back at just a couple of USPs again, and you guys all know how that goes. So, standard mid U2, window smoke, top cat smoke. You're going to get the molly towards connector, all three of those integral when you want mid control on Mirage. And now with a couple of flashes as well, the deep connector smoke 
greeted by one of his own. Nico's done that to dissuade them from pushing on through. And well, B, it was all the uh, hype on that first. It looks like it's going to be again into Hunter. Doto gets that, but it's about to accelerate. Yeah, Jax is in a lot of trouble. Nades smoke of his own design ahead of it for the frag does take Doto with him. It's more on the site. Nico's legs sticking out and that's enough for Sphinx to build upon it. Ends looking clean on the conversions. It is a question of Snappy. Doesn't get both of them but confirms where Nexa is and so the hunt is on. His scout not long to be maintained. A nice conversion. A tag into Hades. Takes down Deher as well for good measure but Sphinx Ready and waiting. Nexa, the indomitable. Fighting tooth and nail to hold on to. Into a couple of Mac 10s. USPs, three. Deagle, one. P251. And that's a big Bowie knife there from Jax. Shouldn't be much to say in this one. Especially considering they've gamble stacked the wrong bomb site, and that couldn't be more evident by the radar. Have a little bit of a look at the top left hand side of your screen. All five blue dots over towards that B. And well, hands there heading the other direction right now. Toto, he'll be the first point of contact if they do decide to push on through mid. And you can see him just throwing utility towards B to try and sell a little bit of a fake as his teammates work in towards A. But now I think the jig is up. They're well aware that it is not going to be success for G2 right now. And Snappy has actually pushed on up to close the door here. So he wants to farm with this Mac 10 Yeah, he's going to really be let off the leash for this. Just farming for that macroeconomics. The big picture here. Do it, Snappy. You want to. You know you want to. Well, 600. We're going to do our six times tables today, guys. <laughs> I really struggle with the times tables, bro. I had mine on the uh, back of the toilet door as a kid, so <laughs> you kind of got forced into it. Deha going to try his luck. And back turned. He goes down. They do have the silence down for. So just in case you were, were you wondering, maybe you, you, you get a query. And this is where we see the quick stuff out of Ants. It's fast on middle right now. They're not slowing down. This is looking very quick from Hades. He's up quick smart. This is so much pressure already. I cannot believe how quick they have mid control. They can actually just stay in these positions. There's nobody looking to deal with mid whatsoever. It's a three-man passive A stance out of G2. And same over towards B. They're just trying to lock down their extremity. Ants quite literally have the map to work with, right? You can take this full mid control. You can get up in window. You can go jungle, connector, vent room, short. They have so much space right now. And I think Nico's realized they need something. They need some information. Nexa pushes a ramp. Nico pushes the apartment's position. And Sector called clear. But right now it's misinformation because Ents haven't made up their mind. Yeah. Amanek took a glance. But obviously with the smoke up connector, they're going to be unable to find him much information initially. Window, of course, has been open for business. There's potentially a lurky boy established there. Here they come. Into the site and into the crosshairs of Hunter Bomb. Spotted the rotates on its way. And Sphinx is such a sharp gamer. He's found his 20th frag for the boys' events. It's another kill here, Amanek. One is not enough. The rotation's covered by Deha. Oh, and Nico's so loud about this. He's going to be tracked and fragged. Nice catch. That was the bomb carrier they were trying to pivot. Aware? Oh, not aware enough. Does take one with him. Deha up against Nexa in the Nexa clutch. Now, the bomb was short side, so he has to plant B. Oh, so Nexa's in a perfect position to deal with this now. Yeah, it's just the denial. I mean, unless Deha's brave enough to fake, he hasn't got time. No, nope, no it's time. Nexa needs to live. To live. Oh. 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 Nicely. Okay, don't die, Nexa. Hold on to that rifle if you can. Little danger right there, so... A big second frag, a necessary second frag. And, ah, the buy for G2, you can see just how bad it looks with four players going on down. But an info crawl again. Much earlier this time. And no pop flash. Sphinx again contributes. And a large capacity for rents. One of the two M4s they had equipped now lies on the wrong side of that smoke for retrieval. Oh, 
really are looking in hot pursuit to take this Mirage. I'll wait till I have an eco next time to start unfolding the master plan here that could all go wrong. G2 yeah. still have a chance in this one. They certainly do. Jax is pushing. Yeah. Jax is really Jax pushing. Jax should really cause a lot of chaos. Because they're left, though. He's just going to get shot right in the eardrum. And all these CT aggressive maneuvers have just been met by hot lead. Yeah, it's just the MP9s here. So uh, you don't want to really save these, but you might be left with no choice. Harold, Bomb. Hey, oh. oh, get your hands on it. Uh, not enough. Hades just crab walks in. Snips their hopes and dreams to convert here in the 20th. Ents <laughs> didn't really have to do anything. The kills came to them. <laughs> the kills just came to them. Nico offering himself up to Spinks as easy as you like. Jack's doing the same top mid. They're desperate for information. They're desperate to claw a kill back. And now that's 12. It was looking like G2 at least had a say in trying to make this half competitive now. But again, Ents early stages of these maps looking good. A really decent lead. If they can continue to push this right, it, it, G2 only going to get 2,400 loss into the next round. All they need to do is convert the next for 13 before the guns come out again. They only need three more rounds of play. Just keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it collected. This is great for Mentz. Now, you remember the conditions that we had, everybody. Imagine if G2 lose here to Ents, then they go into that bracket for the decider from the fifth to eighth position. They lose their opening game in that, and then they're in the last game and they end up losing there as well. Ooh, double smoke. Nice catch from the Ops team. So Snappy throws out two, one for the connector and one for the jungle. Nico trying to be the hero, but he's been spotted. How, how is he supposed to deal with that? d -Hurt cuts him down to size. And this light by not going anywhere. But Chad, you're onto something there, and so is Nexa. What are those headshots? Two provided oh, Dota oh. with the damage control, and yeah, long range not happening on that MP9. Quick reposition, maybe he can catch them off guard, and Diaz has it. You know he's having a great time. Look, we need something right now, and we need something out of Hunter and Nico. They're the two lowest on the scoreboard for G2, but they're the two superstars of the team. So if they can get activated and start finding some multi-kills, G2 could get back into this game. But Ents now, they throw out some smokes. They set their sights towards A. Dota throwing up more from mid, and it will be the A finish right here. There's three of them ready. Two on the stairs, caught in no man's land. Next is dead. Oh, a Nico caught out as well. Some serious damage inflicted. Look at the health of Snappy and Sphinx. He's aware there could be the late prong mid. Bomb to be planted. He's so low though, so vulnerable to a nade or two. Amanek, Amanek doesn't count on Doto and he's gone too. The nade on the nose. That's something for Hunter to work with. Chad. Yeah, but it's a save. It is the four letter word. Yeah, you'd love a kit, you'd love another kill, you'd love something from G2 here, but this has gotten away from them. It's not it's getting away from them. It's the tennis ball rolling down the street. And Dota, oh, he's going to be the car that's about to run over it and ruin everybody's fun. He's cut them off. They have to start the market, and they don't. Jax with an important kill. That alleviates a lot of pressure. Hades and Snappy not looking for the hunt. It was just the one-man task with taking away these rifles. And that lost bonus, 3,400 meat side. The other six have all gone to Ents and lining up some nades again. Top mid smoked off, nade through. It is a little bit shallow. They know that there's a scout right now. And also, that was met with two M4s as well. So at least three players with bigger guns in their hands. And with the max loss bonus, you can probably piece this one together. Ents has a pack. They're rolling out four. Take top mid, and Sphinx is going to deal with the extremity as they just push on up as a pack here. The G2 aren't fighting. They're playing so passive. They almost look scared. The old cliche of playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. Very hard shot for him to hit there, and a smoke for good measure. So they get across safely. They're coming into Hunter and Jax's domain. Already feeling the pain. Defensive util dropped. And it's got so much time to work with here. And already losing a man. Jax, however, traded. And it's all on to Jax now. He's lost his teammate. Hunter's gone. Dia likely to spray this. 
He knows where you are. He can't go far. And there it is. A dink exchange. But Diha's gun is better. Options so limited now. Nex is concerned about a flank. The bomb spotted. Was on the back of Diha. Oh, and he peeks on the flash. The team utility is brilliant. That's the reaction out of Nexa. And if they could just survive, they can play into the site together. Amanak's going around the world. It's the right call. Okay. But that is exactly what Hades was waiting for. Nexa gone. Amanek now going to be a little bit predictable. Does distance himself from the drop-off so as to avoid the info. Hades is still looking the wrong way. That decision could have ramifications. He's sneaking in. Oh, Amanek, can you give G2 a lifeline? The first shot hits. Up again, Snappy. Okay, careful now. Upgrades to, to the orb. Up. He does have to speed this up, and Snappy can just dance with him. Hiding in plain sight. Amonix just shot. To roster before we get there. Their last game was against Copenhagen Flames here within the group stage. They lost it, and they're desperate. They're aggressive. They're pushing. Spinks dancing oh. between the poles. Gets one and a half. Yeah, and Toto mops it up. Got to add Spinks to the land buff. He's been looking good, well. hasn't he? I think he's really loving the environment he's playing within. This is rough now. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be playing a Snappy on nuke yeah no not at all I, i'm actually like it's it's panic stations now like it, it nuke was if anything like a 60 40 tens in my book and you're looking at this mirage now g2 haven't even necessarily come all guns are blazing now when they're two superstars both only have 12 kills right and uh, top of the scoreboard is nexa and Jax. it's that same ax from the snappy double smoke we saw before might be someone else to dispatch it now snappy with the bomb no he is going to be setting himself up for it so Jungle, smoked. Connector, smoked. Nexa and Hunter, however, will still have full vision. Maybe not with that flash. That's got Nexa's name all over it. Still has vision now. Information gathered. Doesn't quite get the smoke out. And this is his chance to strike. Nexa delivers only one. May seem a little short of what was desired, trying to deny that plant, and his shots really aren't far off. Jax has got the right idea, doesn't quite get it across the line. Entz, two clicks of the mouse away. Taking G2's map pick away and being just within reaching distance, touching distance of that Stockholm Major. Hades doesn't hesitate to find another. And down.